He makes videos about computers on the internet. On the internet. Timmy Joe PC Tech. PC Tech. Tech reviews. Computer parts. You betcha. What's up, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers all over the internet. And uh, today on the program, The State of Tech with Timmy Joe, where I talk about the state of technology or things and stuff that are happening. And, well, we're talking about my old pal, AMD. I'm a, no secret, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. Well, that's because I like to root for the underdog. And, uh, yeah, they're not so much an underdog in the CPU space anymore, but in the GPU space, Oh yeah, they certainly are, and it's caused NVIDIA to just price things crazy. We'll see, you know, where things are at right now. I'm hoping that AMD can switch it up with a change with the Navi GPU, summer 2019, but uh, yeah. So yes, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. Actually, I got an email about a party happening in Markham at their uh, Canadian head office, and I uh, went and drove three and a half hours to get a keychain and be in a room full of sweaty nerds wearing Ryzen shirts. But uh, like there was hundreds of people there, it was ridiculous. But I got like, some cake, at least, you know, the 50th anniversary cake was not a lie. And a nice little, uh, you know, like a graphics chip in there. That's pretty cool. 50th anniversary, fun stuff. So yes, AMD's been doing well in the CPU space. You can tell because, well, they've been awarded the uh, ability to make the world's fastest supercomputer for the uh, US government. So that's that's pretty crazy. World's fastest supercomputer will be built by AMD. You know, they're just looking to launch Rome. Things are gonna be pretty awesome in the CPU space. We're hoping that Ryzen 3000 is gonna blow us out of the water. They'll take the performance crown, but we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about their graphics cards. So moving on. Yes, there's been an earnings call and it's been confirmed. Well, we don't even have to look at this article over here on Tom's side where we can just go and we can have Lisa Sue tell us herself. We are well positioned to grow GPU revenue in the second quarter and through the second half of the year as we expect to introduce our first seven nanometer Navi gaming GPUs in the third quarter. Whoa, third quarter, that's soon. <laughs> that's really soon, that's awesome. Well, there's even some more evidence. And then uh, we have a new gaming chip coming out as well. And those are all scheduled for the middle of this year. So uh, yeah, we're excited. Let's Lisa over on Mad Money. Money with Jim Cramer saying there's a new graphics chip coming out. And then they are reported to be doing the SOC for the PlayStation 5 using Zen 2 and uh, Navi technology on it. So it's, it's happening, it's happening. But it's, is it gonna be any good? Is it gonna save us from the terrible plight that is Nvidia's pricing structure right now? Well. Let's look at the, the evidence, the leaks. So there has been a PCB leaks, and this is apparently Navi, but you know, who knows? It could be an engineering sample. It could be some sort of uh, Radeon Instinct card, who knows? But Buildzoid did a breakdown of it, gave us some information on what it could be happening, and we're definitely seeing GDDR6. We're definitely seeing uh, high power consumption with two eight pin connectors, at least on that PCB, and then some worrisome stuff. There is a triangle there for some screws that would indicate that it is a blower model. Please listen, AMD, do not, even as you know your, your launch or, or your version, your Frontier Edition, please don't launch any blower models of Navi. Please, please, please. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that, that kind of worried me for sure. So what are the rumors then? Uh, what's what's gonna be launching? Well, there's lots of news out there. Here we Tweak Town says, AMD's new Radeon RX 3080 XT will launch at RTX 2070 level of performance for around $330. Now that is enticing. I'll show you in a second how expensive RTX 2070 is right now. It's re goddamn ridiculous. So I certainly hope that this rumor is true. But what are other people saying? Where's the high end? Well, I guess because I was there at the launch CES of this thing, I guess this is as good as it's gonna get for this year. But can we see a Navi that's better than Radeon 7? That's maybe you know getting near the performance of an RTX 2080 Ti. Well, apparently there's going to be an AMD flagship Navi rumored for uh, early 2020, and it'll be the RX 3090 XT that will compete for $500 uh, at the, well, 10% better than this performance, so still nowhere near as good as the RTX 2080 Ti, but that, that would be pretty good. 500 bucks, this is 600 and 
$80 minimum right now, $700. RTX 2080s are all $800, or $700, I should say. So this, you know, competing at $500 being $100 cheaper would make sense because this thing's super expensive to produce. I don't think they're going to want to make it, you know, it was a stopgap for high-performance computing just so that Lisa Su could say, you know, we're going to be competing at the top end last year, near the end of last year. Well, technically she wasn't lying. Here's something to compete at the top end-ish, you know, whatever. So it's not looking the greatest, but maybe, you know, that pricing structure will, will help it, right? Then we get some more leaks and rumors. Adore TVs did a whole Navi retrospective or, uh, you know, analyzing Navi Part 2 and... Near the end of here, he's saying that this is the worst of it, according to his leaks and rumors. That uh, they, were, they were having problems in Q1 of 2020, Navi, Navi Horror Stories, Navi can't match Vega 20's clocks. Apparently they did beat clock targets, but the thermals and powers are bad. And then his last leak was you know, uh, somebody close to the, the you know, creation process of Navi saying, disregard Navi, the engineers are just tired of working with it, and it's never going to be that great. Well, that worries me. Does it worry you? Yeah. But there's some hope. Let's say the thermals and power are kind of bad, but it still competes as far as this chart is concerned. At the pricing that it's listing, I think we could overlook it, as long as we're not talking like greater than 275 watt, 300 watt TDP. Let's say that RX 3080 XT has that TDP listed there, 220, or sorry, uh, 190 watts. That would be super cool, but I bet it's gonna be more like 250 watts. And then maybe that higher end model, the 3090, will be closer to 300. I think that these are pipe dreams. This is just a leak, right? This isn't anything official. In fact, I think if we scroll down here, we'll see table WCCF tech, even though this is on 3D Guru, which I take as a reputable site. This chart's from WCCF tech, but I'm hoping that this is close, even if the TDPs are off, because I can live with this. The pricing structure on here is awesome, because if you look at RX 3080 competing with a uh, RTX 2070, the cheapest RTX 2070 on Newegg right now that's new is $480. So imagine AMD launched a product that was even $350 that competed pretty closely with it, even if it was pretty power hungry. I think a lot of people could live with that. And it would drive the price of NVIDIA stuff down. In fact, there's some rumor that uh, at Computex, NVIDIA might launch, uh, announce some price cuts, which would make sense for them. They're not selling a whole lot of GPUs right now, not as many as they thought they would. So maybe reducing the prices would help you with that. But yeah, if we hear about these Navi cards and they're anywhere close to this pricing chart, that could be an amazing thing. So let's just pretend for the rest of this video that this is true and this is what's going to happen. Maybe even $20, $30 more than that's on that chart and the TDP is, you know, a lot more than it's listed there. I think we could, you know, we could live with that. If we saw that this year, if we saw that soon, if we saw that in the in, you know, late summer of 2019, this type of product launch, as long as the performance is somewhat there, I don't think people will mind that it's a power hungry card. But I'll give you two more things you must do in addition to this chart, AMD, to have a successful launch. The only way this will be a success, the only way is if on launch day, your drivers are sorted out and things are looking near as good as they could be. Because if this is any indication on how you can do a launch, where you launch and actually send product reviewers video cards that can't overclock, that are having you know, issues with thermals and uh, how loud they are, and uh, you know, just the driver is locking up and there being issues doing any sort of overclocking. If you launch the product like this, it'll be forgotten as quickly as this was because Months later, this is actually a pretty sweet product. Yes, it's a little more power hungry than, you know, it's, it's NVIDIA equivalent, but it actually competes half decently with the uh, RTX 2080. But no one's talking about this anymore because the product launch was so bad. But, you know, at a lower price tier, a few things might be forgiven, but just please have it sorted. Have the driver sorted. Don't launch 
don't launch, announce it, sure, don't launch until you're ready and you have stock of the product. Another big problem with this launch where you just couldn't even buy it. It sold out and two months later, the stock's available and no one's buying them because they don't even know you know, that it's good or that the, the products are available. So I beg and plead with you AMD, with all your Navi troubles, just sort out the launch enough that it's competitive. Make some money on them, please, so that you can put you know, R&D into the next level because we're talking seven nanometers here and it's competing with products on the NVIDIA side that are 16 nanometers still. NVIDIA has all kinds of room to make up improvement and if you can't at least compete with them, we're always gonna be paying $700 for high-end GPUs or $1,000 or $1,200. We need some competition to bring that those price levels down. And this chart here doesn't look half bad to me as long as it's half decent. All right, as long as it's like Polaris. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I sure hope that Navi is a success. I hope that it looks like this. I hope that it's not a blower model and maybe has a couple of fans on it. And that maybe that $330 price tier for an RTX 2070 level of performance is achievable. That would be pretty sweet. But I'm a little worried about this launch. What do you think of Navi? Do you think it's gonna be your savior? I know there's a lot of you fanboys out there that will, will say so in the comments below. But speaking from an AMD fanboy, all I can hope is that it is somewhat profitable for AMD and it competes at a lower price tier and maybe isn't the best silicon out there, but it gets gamers the graphics cards they've been deserving for so long at a price that won't kill their bank. I'm Matt Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. This has been the State of Tech. Lisa Sue, happy birthday with your 30th anniversary or whatever. 50th anniversary? There we go. Thanks for the keychain. I'll see you guys in another video. What do you think of Navi? Discuss in the comments below. What do you think can happen? Maybe someone at AMD will watch this and listen to me. Make sure it works at launch, you bastards. I love you guys. See you guys in another video. Thank you for listening to me blab about video cards. Bye.